Hello, my friends. Welcome back to our Children's Bible Stories for Lent. I'm Pastor Mark, and of course, it's getting late in March already, isn't it? Today is March 26th. Can you believe it? And for all you Mets fans, our first game of the season is only four days away on March 30th. Can you believe it? But that's what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about the Bible stories that we share at Clinton Avenue Reformed Church in Bergenfield. And today we're going to be talking about the Sea of Galilee. That's a place where Jesus spent an awful lot of time. Now, the Sea of Galilee is way up north in Israel. And people still actually fish in that. Some of Jesus' first disciples, you know, used to fish there for a living. You know, they were Peter, his brother Andrew, James and John. They were also brothers. They all fished in the Sea of Galilee. And in the Galilee Sea Museum in Israel, they have this model of a ship which is what they believe was about the size of the fishing boats that they used in Jesus' day. But it wasn't just fishing. There were times that Jesus went out in a boat because there were so many people on the beach, he couldn't really speak to them all. He needed like a, a pulpit or a platform. So some of the fishermen took him out on their boat a little way so he could stand there and speak to the crowd. Another time on the Sea of Galilee, Andrew and Peter were fishing all night long and they didn't catch a thing. And Jesus said, try casting on the right. They said, look, Lord, we've been doing this all day. We haven't caught a thing. But, all right, if you say so, we'll do it. They caught such a load of fish that they were afraid the boat was going to sink. They had to call in James and John. And they said, come over and help us with this. Now, another time Jesus was on the sea in one of the fishing boats, there was a huge storm that came up. Now, this is a pretty small boat. I would never, ever want to be in a storm in a boat this size. Even if I was on a cruise on a big ocean liner, I would not want to be in a storm on the sea. But a boat this size, especially, no way. And all the boys were upset, and they're bailing water, and they're bailing water, and they're bailing water, and they look around, where's Jesus? He was asleep in the back. They said to Jesus, Jesus, wake up. Don't you care? We're going to drown here. Kind of looked up and said, storm, stop. Wind, be still. And the whole storm stopped. Something else that happened with Jesus. He was on land. And he told the disciples to go out in a boat, go to the other side of the lake. Now, I, I've seen the lake. I was on the lake in a boat. You know, it's not a huge distance, but it sure isn't a short distance either. You know, it's got to be a few miles wide. So they are out sailing their boat. All of a sudden they look up and it looks like there's a person walking near them they're thinking no person is walking on this lake no way and they said it's got to be a ghost it's a ghost it's a ghost and they hear a familiar voice jesus saying to them i'm no ghost relax i'm just walking towards you on water and they went what yeah jesus was walking on water well, Peter, the disciple, didn't quite believe him. So he said, oh, yeah, if it's really you, 
Tell me to come out and walk on water. And Jesus said, come on, come on out. And Peter did. Peter started walking on water. But then he saw a wave and he got scared. And he went, oops, and he started sinking. Jesus pulled him out. And he said, why don't you believe me? Why don't you trust me? Those are a lot of adventures that happened with Jesus and the disciples on the Sea of Galilee. I really enjoyed my time on the Sea of Galilee. When I was in Israel, we took a boat on the Sea of Galilee. This is our whole group. See, here I am, right here. That's our whole group. And we had a communion service on the boat. Because where Jesus walked, by the Sea of Galilee or even on the Sea of Galilee, so many things happened. The disciples who hadn't caught a fish, they listened to Jesus. They trusted Jesus and they caught a big load of fish. The disciples who were close to Jesus did what he said when he said, let me in the boat and pull out a little bit so I can speak to all these people. They did what Jesus told them to do. When they were caught in a storm, they thought their lives would end. They called on Jesus. They trusted Jesus more than they trusted the boat or the storm. When Jesus was walking on water, as long as Peter was looking on Jesus, he could walk on water. The minute he stopped looking at Jesus, he turned toward the waves. That is when he sank. So what's this Bible story all about today? It's all about talking to Jesus, trusting Jesus, and doing what Jesus tells us to do. You know, sometimes it might seem strange. Someone's telling us to walk on water, really? That might be strange. But there's a reason Jesus is telling us that. And it's not just to be silly. The more we talk to Jesus, the more we obey Jesus, the more we trust him, the better our lives will be. And that is our Bible lesson for today, all about the Sea of Galilee. Please like this, share this, comment on it, and tell your friends about our children's Bible stories by Pastor Mark of Clinton Avenue Reformed Church in Bergenfield, New Jersey. May God bless you this Lent. God bless you this day, this week, and may God bless you forever.